you may have noticed, class, we have a new student. His name is Robin. Robin? That's a bird's name. Does he eat worms? <laughs> That's quite enough, George. Mind your manners. <laughs> Sorry about that. He usually likes people. Hey, look at all the birds. <laughs> just attacked a lady and her dog. Birds don't attack people. Now, everyone back to their desks. As you know, today we're going to the bird sanctuary. Does anyone know what the study of birds is called? Yes, Robin. What? He's going to talk. Kid. The study of birds is called ornithology. Scientists say birds have been around for 140 million years. There are over 8,650 different species of birds. Some people estimate that there are over 100 billion birds now in the world. <laughs> well, that's more than we really need to know. Thank you, Robin. The bus is here to bring us to the bird sanctuary. All right, class. Now make your way to the school bus. I know you want to come, Fang, but it's a bird sanctuary. You understand? It would be like bringing a mouse to a cheese factory. I don't care if he can hear me, George. The new kid is a total bird brain. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Robin. It must be tough being the new kid. Perhaps you were standing too close to a bird's nest. Kid. And here at the bird sanctuary, our resident expert ornithologists claim there are over 200 different species of birds. Yes? Can you tell us why the barn swallow chooses barns, an unnatural habitat, in which to build their nests and raise their young? No. Well, I read in Ornithology Quarterly Review that unlike other swallows, barn swallows... Quiet, bird brain. <sighs> All right, uh, let's go bird watching. Hey, is it... Could it be a blue-beaked sapsucker? been acting a little strange lately. And I know why. Are you going to take us for a ride on that bulldozer? No. The bulldozer's here to widen the bird pond. It's getting a little overcrowded. Wow, a bird boy. He should have his own comic book. 
think I'll go for a walk. I'm full. Is that all you're having for lunch, Robin? He even eats like a bird. That's because he's a bird brain. Uh-oh. Robin heard Angela insult him again. Do you think he'll... Look! Birds everywhere. Children, I don't want anyone to panic, but I want everyone to carefully and slowly make their way onto the bus without scaring the birds which have malevolently surrounded us. looking could be so bad. Robin! Run, Robin! Look out for the birds! You know what, Charlie? I don't think he's bad at all. I think he just needs someone to be nice to him for a change. Hey, Robin. How would you like an apple? An apple? For me? Sure. Thank you. The white-tipped wing birds of Polynesia love apples. The bird expert says the birds attacked us at the sanctuary because we scared them, and not, as I said earlier, because birds want to annihilate the human race. But just in case, we're dismissing classes early, so go straight home as fast as your little legs will carry you. Sorry, Robin, you won't get to show us your amazing collection of bird photographs today. Class dismissed. I think he's upset because he didn't get to show everyone his bird photo album. And when Bird Boy gets upset, look out. We've got to stop him. I want everyone to stay calm. Calm, calm, I tell you. What are you going to do about the birds? Blitzy and I cannot take it anymore. Yeah, hey, the what you gonna do about it? Get rid of the birds! Stop the birds! Bird Boy's gotta be around here somewhere. There he is. There's nothing to panic about. The very idea that birds would attack people is absurd. Surrounded. I surrender. Boy, your plan to use the birds to take over the town has failed. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean you don't even realize that you transform into a bird-human hybrid that commands birds to attack whoever you're angry at? First Angela, then George, then the whole class, and then the whole town. I do? Wow! But I wasn't angry at the whole town. Then why are the birds attacking? It's a lot of the same species that are usually at the bird sanctuary and they're displaying alarming behavior. If you can get this cat off me, I have an idea we might check out at the bird sanctuary. His name is Fang, 
Just pet him. He'll like you. <coughs> Maybe not. <coughs> well, Robin, you're a big hero. Getting everyone to expand the bird pond without using the bulldozer has sure made the birds happier. It was Mona who made me realize the birds were only attacking the town because they were angered by the bulldozer. Birds don't get angry. They were confused because of the bulldozer. Birds have brains the size of a peanut. They're dumb. Officer Halcroft, I wouldn't say that so loud. The birds will hear you. Don't be ridiculous. Hey! <laughs> I'm doing an experiment on music and plants. But I haven't been able to classify this one yet. Cafeteria lady, have you cried? Did you salt the stew with your tears? Charlie, will you turn that off? But it's Pablo. They're my favorite band. Okay, fine. Dr. Buffo's bulking formula protein shakes are guaranteed to turn even the skinniest runt into a Superman. Even the skinniest runt? Do you think I could get one too? Sure. We can go back to the flower shop where I bought it. Come on, Charlie. Wait, I didn't catch the name. Mr. Bulko? Senior Flubbo? <laughs> Dr. Tofu? No, Captain Blubbo. I'm sorry, uh, children, that was the not. only one I had. It was left behind from a special order that was picked up last week. Never seen anything quite like them before. Can you get more? Not for another six months. <gasps> this fellow pretty much cleared me out. Strange fellow, too. Not very keen on people skills. Six months? <sighs> Summer will be over by then. And ever since I switched to playing classical music, the plan has started growing again. I wouldn't try Pablum, though. Hey! Look what it's done to Charlie. Nice throw, Charlie. Oh! <sighs> Sorry, I didn't see you. And obviously you haven't seen this, either. It means stay off the grass. You are in direct violation of Section 5, Paragraph 3. But what good is grass if you can't play on it? Play? I pour my sweat and blood into making this lawn perfect. We can go play somewhere else. Huh? I won't have you little vandals tearing up my park. I'm fighting back. Our gloves! Warning, assorted lollygaggers! This is Mr. Scrib, the groundskeeper. Keep off my grass. Trespassers will face retribution. Severe retribution. Can you believe that, Mr. Scrib? I saved all winter for that glove. He's just a big bully. We need... Dr. Buffo's protein shake. That stuff doesn't work, Charlie. But the results are guaranteed. <sighs> Sold out? I can't believe it. Sorry, kid. Some strange fellow came by this morning and bought my entire stock. First the flowers, then this. It looks like someone's stocking up. What do you think, Mona? I think it's time to get my glove back. <laughs> It's locked. <gasps> Look, there's our gloves. And a lot more stuff, too. Couldn't you just buy another glove? It's the principle of the thing. <gasps> Turn off your tape player, Charlie. It's not me. I think it's c c coming from over there. It's, it's the pond creature. It eats children who stay out late at night! Ah! Wait! It 
That's Mr. Scrib. He's the one who bought all the flowers. And now he's playing music for them. I knew my theory about music and plant growth was right. Look, he's also the one who bought all of Dr. Buckle's protein shakes. Why does he need so much? I don't think they're for him. There you go, my pretties. This will make you big and strong. <gasps> grow, my darlings, grow! I have such big plans for you. You again, sneaky little spies. Run! <sighs> and well, we tried all sorts of mixtures, but it still hasn't grown. Maybe it only works with Dr. Buckle's formula and the music. Why would he pick exotic flowers for a public park? And why make them so unnaturally big? That's something we're gonna have to find out and get Mona's glove back in the process. Can we stick to daylight this time? What a mess! Who did this? Whoever it was must have been mighty thirsty. It looks like the flowers got too big for their pots. Maybe they got too big for this greenhouse, too. Hmm. How do we find Mr. Scrib now? He can't have gone far. Where do you hide a few hundred overgrown exotic flowers? Uh, guys, do you notice anything peculiar? About the park, I mean? Maybe everyone left in a hurry. My kite! The bush ain't my kite! Kite eating bushes? That kid's been out in the sun too long. We're on to something. But what? What's really going on in that park? Whoops, I've got to get going. I promised my mom I'd be home for seven. You'll never make it. Sure I will. I'll just take a shortcut through the park. Oh, it's Pablum again. I hate it. You know what's been bugging me all day? Why would Mr. Scrib go through so much trouble to grow exotic flowers only to make them disappear? Maybe they were never meant for the public park. Maybe he's just doing experiments like me. Shoo fly. Wait a minute. If it isn't actually a flower, then it must be. There it is. It's a variant of the Venus flytrap. It eats bugs. Little tiny bugs. But Mr. Scrib grew his plants into giants. Now we look like little tiny bugs to them. That would explain the deserted park and that kid's kite. Mr. Scrib must have hidden the giant flytraps in the bushes. And now anyone who ventures in the park is turned into lunch. Charlie! <laughs> Whoa! Charlie, thank goodness. What's going on? We'll explain later. We have to get out of here. You know, you children have been entirely too nosy. This is a public park. You have no right to do this. Why not? Look around you. Perfect conditions for the first time. No trampled grass, no broken branches. You can't keep us here. There's only one of you and three of us. Oh, I won't keep you here. <whistles> but they will. Finally, nature has a way to fight back against men. Now, if you'll excuse me, the town council asked to see me. I'm probably getting a medal for my initiative. Try not to play with your food too much, my darlings. Let's get out of here.
think we'll be safe here. But for how long? This is it! We're done for! If we get out of this in one piece, I swear that I'll never eat another vegetable. The loudspeaker. Charlie, do you have your pablum tape? Sure, I'll give that up too. I hope you write about plants and music, Lily. It's working! They're dying off! Feel the power of bad music, you carnivorous creeps! Everyone's a critic. Okay, show me what you got. Boom! Nice day for a game of catch. Right, kids? The new groundskeeper sure is nice. Speaking of which, whatever happened to Mr. Scribb? Officer Howcroft said that he was transferred to Alaska. Turns out he blew the whole park budget on exotic plants and protein shakes, but none of them can be accounted for. Well, neither can the sudden disappearances. Oh, sure, Officer Halcroft says it was because the people were leaving after spring break. But we know better. Uh, who can tell for sure anymore? The only evidence we had were the dead plants, and they mulched that with the leaves from last fall. Well, I don't like it. It ties up way too neatly. I have a feeling it's not over yet. Mm -hmm. 